Hey everyone. So I just got these wheels for the Corvette oh, about two months ago, but I haven't really gotten around to doing anything with them till now. If you'll notice, they're very similar to the uh, knockoff wheels from C2 Corvettes. But these actually came off of a 78 or 79 Z28 Camaro. Uh, they're 250 bucks. I bought them from a guy locally. And the reason why I did these, first off, they're 7 inches wide. So they're 1 inch wider than the original knockoff wheels. And the other knockoffs, even the, the remade ones that are bolt-ons like this, uh, cost you about $2,000. So I paid $250 for these, like I said. Um, I'm going to take this tan out and paint the inside black and then I want to send them off to a wheel shop and have them widened so they'll be either 10 or 12 inch wide wheels. Now, other than that I've got some parts that will make them look exactly almost identical to the original knockoffs and total I've spent less than $500 to do that. Of course I haven't bought tires yet but that'll be after they're widened. And the widening I expect will cost me about a thousand. So I'll show you the parts that I've got to do this and explain the part numbers and how it all works. First off, these wheels will not fit over uh, your original calipers. These are wheel woods, but they're the same dimensions as the originals. So you've got to use a spacer. This is a 5 16th spacer. And by changing that out, then you have to go with some longer studs. And these studs are two and five eighths inches long. Here's the part number right there, 4310G. So then once you've got that, from Custom Wheel Accessories, it's a place in California, I called them and ordered these three parts. Uh, I don't remember the part number exactly, but I'll write it down in the description. And this screw was separate, I just got that at the local hardware store. It's a 5 16 screw with 18 threads per inch, and I believe it's an inch and a half long. So this mounts up here. This piece here is called the tower. I'll put the wheel on next. Now with these wheels, you're also going to need this style of lug nuts. And these also, if you search for a 78-79 Z28 Camaro, you'll find these lug nuts online. They're not expensive or hard to find. Okay, so once you've got the lugs all in, and you've got your cone, you can see you've got a little bit of screw thread sticking out of there. That'll zoom in and focus. And then this last piece just kind of threads on. You have to use two hands. Alright, so that's it. Once you get that screwed on, there's a little set screw you can put in either, either or all three of those uh, arms. But they look pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to send these wheels off. It'll probably be a while. Um, probably after the body's on. But I've got everything now. Now you can see what you need if you want to do this. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care.